Hello, I hope that you are doing well. Today we are going to make this isometric coin and I'm going to tell you how you can uh, colorize very easily with just one click. Um, even if these elements are just grouped as well, just you can easily colorize as you want and it's going to be easy to do. So let's uh, jump into it. First, uh, we are going to need a circle, simple circle. So just click and drag with shift so we can create a perfect circle. I'm going to create my first coin. It needs to be in color gray, so we can make this effect uh, about colorizing very easily. You will see at the end. So just follow, um, just going to create one sample, just simply this color and I will go to effects, I will go to 3D and materials and I'm going to choose 3D classic, extrude and vivo classic. It's just going to be 2D design but also apply it like in isometric 3D so I don't need that much. There are specifications there. So here in position I'm going to choose isometric top so it's going to be like in, in this position. Uh, then I'm going to choose no shading, so it's going to be just flat colors, even that it seems like it's blending, I still have the two shapes here. I'm going to put OK. And immediately I will have to put Object and Expand Appearance so it can recognize the two parts that I'm trying to uh, separate in, after this process. So you can see I have the top and I have the part, uh, the extrude part. When you create objects um, 3D and you expand it, you will have to put right click and ungroup. But we have to do this a step two times. So I put one, as you can see, it's still together everything. So I have to do it twice. Right click again, ungroup. So now I have the part of the top separate right now, you can see part below as well is separate. So I'm going to do these uh, strips as you can see. For that it's going to be simple. And I'm just going to make it just with the simple rectangle tool in this way. Even I'm going to guide myself a little bit with um, um, the outlines. You can put view, we can put outline so I can see how it's matching. Um, for example in this way then I'm going to click and, and I will move and I will press shift at the same time when it's uh, they're fitting exactly beside each other I'm going to press alt again so I'm going to press shift and alt at the same time and then I'm going to leave the click so I create a copy and I can press immediately without pressing anything just press command D Control D if you are using Windows and you're going to create many copies of that. So now I have, or you can make it as well manually. You can put uh, the copies manually as well can work. So this one is simple. I would just grab the part below and I will grab the lines and I'm going to use the shape builder. It's this tool. Shape builder is just Shift M. So I'm going to grab then lines in the part below in this way click and drag with the selection tool I grab it I'm going to press shift M here the shape builder and then I'm going to press alt because right now you can see that I have a plus in the cursor so it's it means that it's going to blend it's going to uh, you need the shapes but I want to reduce the shapes so I'm going to press alt so it appears in minus and I will reduce these shapes that are here and also the shapes that are below. So then I only have these lines that we see right now. So it's, it's how I like, it's how, how I need, so it's fine. And I'm still with the view of the outline, so that's why I see it without colors. It's, it's how I need it right now. Um, okay, yeah. Then I will need to make the dollar sign, for that is simple, I will just use the type tool, just click and drag, 
to make a text box I'm going to put the dollar sign and the typeface that I'm using is Arial is the one that I'm just going to use for for this exercise and then immediately I will pass to the selection tool so I select the text box and I'm going to convert this type into a shape so I'm going to put type I'm going to put create outlines so it's a shape now and I'm going to resize this one more bigger but by pressing shift and then grabbing one of the uh, borders that I have here so we can drag outside and make it bigger and I'm going to repeat the process of the isometric to put here so even right now before I go to the normal view I'm just going to put uh, some colors for example I'm going to grab this uh, line and the one in the middle I'm not going to grab it I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to repeat the same steps just by pressing with shift so I can select for example one yes one no one yes and then I'm going to just colorize with another color and also the top as well maybe I'm going to just colorize another color so when I go to the normal view if I put view and I put again uh, the preview then I will have the colors and I will not miss uh, uh, any of the details here also you can just uh, hover as you can see I'm selecting the shape like that so it will depends up to you but you can decide okay uh, I'm going to turn this one into isometric and for that again I'm going to repeat the steps effect 3d and materials 3d classic and here extrude and vivo but for this one it's going to be different that I'm going to put you can put I'm going to put a symmetric top but as you can see um, this figure is the extrude is too much which I think I'm going to just leave it in zero so it's going to be flat and I can just put it here I'm going to put ok and I have to go to object and expand appearance I convert the shape and I can just click and drag it there and put another color this circle I'm going to put command C command F to paste it in the same place I'm going to do the circle more smaller with shift and alt and I'm going to you can give another color there and there you go you have your coin and even these um, lines probably if you don't like it like so much uh, darker I can put command G to group it and put more light there there you go if you think that the strut is uh, bigger you can still correct that by selecting the anchors bellow you can select it in this way but it's going to take more and even for example if I select it like this it will select the ones on top as well so the best option is to grab this tool the lasso tool so i can make a selection in this way of the anchors that are below i'm just going to do it again because i think it didn't grab it all and it's not quite easy just with the mouse so i select everything i will go to select direct selection tool i can grab one anchor and i can make this shape this extrude more smaller in case that you expand the object as i did and here you have your coin so the part to colorize this even this one i think i will just leave it a little bit more lighter you can leave this one in the previous one i leave it in white even this one I the other circle I think I need it more darker depends on you I would just leave it up to you so then my next step will be that I will create a copy of this one here so I just move I press alt and I leave the click and you can see I, I have another copy or you can just put a well command you can select everything, command C, command V, just have in mind that you have to move it. I did it. Then what you have to do is that you have to open the pathfinder and you are going to unit all of these shapes. As you can see, we have some trashy uh, anchors there. I can put unit again. 
And if it's continue appearing that, the solution will be very easy. I'm just going to put another color to identify the shape. I will just grab this shape outside for you to show you this. I will put double click. So basically some group of a lot of items, including these trashy anchors that I have here. What we need is just the main bigger shape. So I can just put command X and I can go back to the groups. I can delete this part and I can paste again the shape that I just grabbed from that group. So I have it there. And here the trick is that I have to just put on top if I want this color in my coin. So I just put there. Even if you want to just uh, make sure you can make this, I can grab all the coin. I can group it with command G. Then I can grab my second shape that I just fixed it, that is unique, and I can just align these objects I can put a line to, um, to the selection, yes. And then just do it. I can grab the shape that is in color. I'm going to the part of the appearance and I'm going to choose here in, in opacity. I'm going to choose here the blend mode. I'm going to choose color. And this is how you can colorize easily as long as you have the color blend mode. You can colorize easily and you don't have to ungroup and you don't have to just colorize one by one or like so. As you can see. So that's all. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial and you can start playing with the isometric projection in Adobe Illustrator because it's very interesting and see you